Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to be talking about Trans Joy Camp. Let's get it. Shout out to Gates for Grimmers for posting this. Oh, if you like us, if you like and you want to subscribe to this channel, hey, please do. If you don't, cool. Also, if you want to help donate here, we use all the money to go back into the production. As you see, we've been making improvements around here. Let's thank you guys. All right, so that's enough. All right, let's get to it. Trans Joy LLC. This is where it's going to be. M class Kansas. This is public knowledge. This is all public knowledge. So what's going to be at this camp? Classes will be held daily. Sign ups for classes will be held in person at a daily camp assemblies. On our first come and first serve basis, classes include affirmation writing, bookmaking, breath work, uh, crystal healing, dance, death, death and grief support, drawing, forging, fishing, hand lettering, the history of the LGBT artist, leather working, massage, meditation, movement, music, painting, personal finance, plant, candle to being, pole dance, reiki, somatic, drawings, zine, a zine, I guess it's either zine or zen, and collage. Peer comic camp rules, all attendees must have passed a sex offender registry check, persons 18 and under must have a guardian present, persons 12 and under must be under constant supervision by a guardian, attendees must sign gay as code, gay as, is it gay as? Code of conduct camp is pack in and pack out okay so here's where the people are having a problem pole dance pole dance affirmation writing grief support here's the lgbt they don't have a problem with that necessarily being part of it they have a problem with the children being there what's my feelings and thoughts on this let me take a quick sip well i get some more for you guys should there be pole? Did you go to a place where there's going to be pole dancing? Listen, and I, I'm not defending pole dancing because pole dancing tends to be synonymous or strippers. But pole dancing, there's actual pole dancing that's not sexual. If you've ever watched it, it's quite interesting. And it is quite, um, it looks very hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I'm not necessarily against them putting pole dancing in there. But here's the thing. Do I trust that this camp has normal pole dancing? No. No. I believe in when it comes to the LGB people, man, it just seems like ever, nothing can ever just be normal. I feel like the pole dance is going to be pole dancing and there's going to be some sexual nature to it. I'm just going to say that. They're probably going to have some... Uh, I'm not saying the camp is doing this, but it's possible. They're going to have some drag queens come in there, show them how to do a couple things, and have the kids get on the pole. And it's just like, and to be fair, gays with groomers don't tend to just look into stuff and just be like, oh, you know, whatever. I don't see them do a whole lot of non research and they just post, post stuff to just to post it. They tend to look into this stuff and they tend to know what they're talking about. So I'm going to assume when they talk about pole dancing and affirmation writing, that's the problem. There's going to be a problem there. There's going to be pole dancing and it's going to be sexual pole dancing with children there, obviously from 18 down, right? All the, And I just have a problem with that, man. And affirmation writing, what that tells me that there's going to be a bunch of kids at this camp because the adults pretty probably already going to know where they're at. They're going to take the kids there and be like, so are you a boy, girl? We're going to learn that in affirmation writing. And you, when you go to a trans joy camp with ki choice, trans joy camp with children what do you think the kids are gonna do when you if you ever been to a camp as a kid it has an impact that one little week of your little bit of life it's a lot how, how many times i've gone to a church camp and band camp and football camps that's how you get close to your teammates that's how you get close to your band members and when you go to a church camp that's how you get closer to god right those really do have an impact when you're a child because it's your little bit of life. It's the most time you normally spend away from your parents doing one thing, except for this, you're going to be with your parents or guardian. But at the same time, it's that that can change a child's mentality for a little bit. It doesn't last forever, but it's going to last a while. You know, it's going to last a good while. I can tell you how many people I went to church camp with and they, oh man, they're, they're all for it now. And I'm cool with that. You know, it's fine. They, they're going to live their life for God forever now. You know, obviously, it wears off because there, it, there is discipline and everything that comes with that. But it wore off on me. I ain't going to lie to you. I was, a, I, was a, I was a weird kid. But so when I see the affirmation writing and I see the pole dancing and all that kind of stuff, I think that these kids are going to come out of this camp trans. They're going to come out of this camp saying, I, I think I'm a girl now or I think I'm a boy now. And that's dangerous. Once again, we need to keep the adults to the adults. And I understand that the reason they're probably doing this, maybe doing this is because they want to have 
they want to allow the parents to come and not have to have to get babysitters too bad. If you can't get a babysitter, you can't get somebody to take care of them. You don't go. That's that's life. Because you taking a child to something like this is going to have a profound effect on their life, especially in the affirmation writing, because kids are going to start writing. And I already know they're going to be coerced. I already know that they're going to start pushing them like this. OK, so write how you feel right now. Yes. Can I get some music? So write down how you feel right now. Good job. So if you ever, you ever just walking, you know, you're, you're living life and sometimes you just feel like you're not in the right body. Write, write that down. Do you ever feel like you like hanging out with girls more than boys? Yeah. Write that down. Do you ever like, <laughs> for the boys in here, do you, you ever feel like, you know, you love her, you love wearing dresses, you love the high heels, you love the makeup. Well, that may be because you might have been born in the wrong body, right? Life is like two donuts, right? You have one donut that has vanilla icing on the inside, and you have another donut that has strawberry icing on the inside. You don't know what's on the inside of either one of these donuts until you break it open. We're here to break you open today. Write that down. You are not with your doctor or your chromosomes. Say you are. You like Barbie dolls? You're a girl. You like football? Huh? You like hanging out with the guys? Go ahead and get those double mastectomies right now. Get them taken off. And, and do what you're supposed to do. Because... We're here to change you. You're gonna do what we tell you to do. You're not a boy. You're not just a girl. You're everything. It only gets worse from here. So you go and do the dumb mastectomies. You take all those genitals. And you live the life we told you to live. So. Write that down, guys. And that's it for affirmation writing. We'll be right back at this tomorrow. But right now, we're going to go ahead and move over to pole dancing. So get those pole dancing outfits on and let's have a good day, okay? And that's how I feel like it's going to go. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, man. In all seriousness, I just think it's not good to take children to this kind of thing. Um, the trans ideology is so warped that kids could not handle what they're even trying to explain because even as adults have a hard time into this madness. Peace.